What's up guys, welcome to the Jiu Jitsu Journal by Quotes and Chokes Instructionals. I'm Nick Angeloni and with me as always is Angelo Rivera. Today we're going to show you three sweeps from the butterfly guard. Alright, so this first sweep is a pretty basic sweep, but it's going to lead into a really cool back take that we're going to do next. So I just want to show the sweep uh, for those of you that haven't seen it. Uh, for those of you that have, we'll get into that, into that next back take here in just a minute. So, I'm here in this, this two-on-one tie position. Um, so what I want to do is, I want to, if I'm, if I'm in the gi, I can hold the sleeves here, but if not, I'm holding the wrist and I'm reaching into the crook of his elbow. My middle finger is in the crook of his elbow here. If I'm sweeping him towards, the, the, uh, towards my left, I'm going to scoop my hips off to the right side, okay, and I'm going to bring my left foot into my butt because this is the foot that's going to elevate the sweep, okay, so I'm going to put this foot on the ground, this one's basically just going to hold still, and this foot is where the elevating power comes from. Okay, I'm going to get up my toes there. But look, when I hit this, I scoot off to the side, I'm elevating this. What I want to do is I'm going to use this grip to pull him down towards that shoulder. But because I have this wrist, he's not able to just post on the mat and catch himself. All right, so I'm holding this wrist, I'm going to pull them down towards his shoulder, and I'm going to elevate on this foot here, and come on top. So one more time, I've got my two on one grip. I scoot off to my side. Look, I'm putting my hand down because we're going slow, but if I'm, if I'm going live, I get this grip here and I just kind of hop over to the side. I pull this down towards his shoulder, keeping the wrist in towards his chest. Get up on my toes and I can get on top. Okay, so now look, in this scenario, I'm gonna go for that last sweep that we hit. I've got this two on one grip. I'm looking to sweep him this way towards my left. But at any time, if a good Jiu Jitsu player on top, when they're in butterfly guard and one of their arms is controlled, they're gonna post that same side leg. Okay, so they put this leg up to create some, some base for them so I can't take him this side anymore. But look, what I can do with this grip now is I can scoop my hips under him. I'm gonna elevate him straight up and then this is what it's gonna look like. Can you back up for me? Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm gonna elevate him straight up and I'm gonna take this hook out, okay? And then I'm gonna bring him off to this side. So, let's go back this way a little bit. So I shoot my hips under, I elevate him up, and then this hook brings him over here. My far hook is just gonna come out. And I'm gonna have his back here. And he lands nice in this kind of, uh, this over under position. Usually they'll defend this hook by uh, attaching the elbow to the knee. And that, yeah. But that kind of comes, you can kind of stretch him out, bring this top one inside. Okay, so I've got the two on one. He knows I want to sweep him this way because I'm controlling this arm, so he posts his leg up. Then I can bring my butt under, elevate him, and then the, uh, so if I'm gonna take his back to my left side, my left hook comes out, my right hook brings him off to the right side. And I land with one hook in, I usually will land with an over under, and then I can stretch him out to get this other hook in. Sometimes, sometimes the hook falls in, but that's gonna kind of be the fight of the move right there. All right, so when you're hitting those first two moves, a lot of times the hardest part is establishing this two-on-one grip. Okay, he's grip fighting with me, he's looking to get his own controls, and this can be kind of hard to get. So we have kind of a, an option C to go to if we can't get this to begin with, all right? So if his arms are in tight here, he's looking to come inside and like establish underhooks or something like that to flatten me out, um, and I can't establish this, so what I'm gonna do is as he's coming in, I'm gonna come up to a collar tie here, and then my other hand is gonna post on his elbow. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna push this elbow in as my forearm kind of clubs his head over to the side like this. Okay, I wanna like uh, rotate it like I'm turning steering wheel, okay? so. What I want to try to do is try to imagine that I'm going to slam his head on the mat. If I just try to push him over, I'm going to end up getting about this far because he's going to resist. If I really try to slam him over, like slam his head down, when he resists, I'll still end up getting enough momentum to, to kind of roll him through. So I'm going to scoop my hips away from the direction that I'm sweeping in. I'm going to rotate this and I'm going to slam his head down and then in this situation, this hook is just going to kick him over because most of the torque is going to come from the upper body. Okay, so we're here. And I bring him right over. <clears throat> so one more time. He kind of comes in to establish some underhooks. I catch the collar tie. I catch the elbow. 
I turn the steering wheel so I slam his head to the mat and I elevate the far side hook. Alright, so in this scenario, yeah, I wasn't able to get this control. As he as he was kind of coming inside, I wasn't able to establish this. Maybe I just I missed it, I missed my opportunity. And he actually is inside with his, with his uh, underhooks. Okay, so I'm gonna sweep him to my right side, so my opposite side arm is gonna take an overhook, and I'm gonna lean to this side. Okay, usually by just using this wizard and kind of giving him some pressure, he'll post with his hand um, just to keep some balance. If not, it's okay if it's still on my hip. I guess I'll just grab it back here. But I'd like to get it on the mat. I'm gonna grab it here, and then before I fall down, like I want to bring this wrist to his chest, but it's really hard to do this. I'm trying to move it in. Okay, it's, it's too much, uh, too much friction there with his, his grip on the mat. So what I want to do is I want to pull it up first, and as I'm falling, I'll push it in towards his chest, like this. Okay. Um, so his hand, I'm pinning it to his chest. My overhook now is gonna grab my own wrist. Okay, we, we showed a triangle on this, uh, so today we're gonna look at the sweep a little bit in, uh, more in depth. So it's pinned to the, to the chest, my wrist has my own wrist, and now all I gotta do is just lift this up, he comes over nice and easy, so we can get on top. Okay, so he comes inside, he gets his underhook, all right? I kind of bring him down to the mat, or I just grab it from back here. Okay, pin it to the chest as I fall over, this hand here grabs my own wrist, and I come down. Just take this butterfly hook and just elevate him, he's got no base there. Take him right over the top. Alright guys, thanks for watching the Jiu Jitsu General by Quotes and Chokes Instructionals. Uh, today we went over three sweeps and a back take from the butterfly guard position. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to comment below. Let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks, guys.